On June 9th, the Brixie YouTube channel posted some interesting news. After having suspected as much for a while, there was finally confirmation. There's an area of Phase 4 which simply cannot make up its mind about what it's going to be. Originally, it was the main floor entrance to Phase 3's first major anchor tenant, Woodward's. It's a different world for you at Woodward's. Woodward's eventually went bankrupt. And for about a decade, the mall hosted not one, but two Hudson's Bay locations in the same shopping center. In the late 90s, the second bay location closed down. This led to the area being reconfigured, with a large central area in the middle and smaller retail outlets around the outside. The HMV stage took up a good chunk of that interior space, and is still used today for various events. However, the other half of that area has been experiencing a two decade long identity crisis. One day it's Segway Tours, the next it's a World Vision charity experience. Perhaps it's an outlet of completely local businesses, also known as RAS. Or just maybe, it's a walking tour through an oversized colon. And no, I'm not shitting you, that was actually a thing. But it sounds like all the shuffling might finally be over. Brixie was the first to release footage of construction crews in the area looking through plans of what would be coming to the mall, clearly stamped with the LEGO logo. This was also officially confirmed via news on the West Edmonton Mall website in the coming soon section. Until now, Edmonton only had a single LEGO store, but it's not the only one anymore. And the area where it's going to be placed looks awfully familiar. At another of Triple Five's properties, the Mall of America, they have a large LEGO store placed right in the middle of the mall concourse just before you walk into that mall's most impressive attraction, Nickelodeon Universe. And the area slated for the Lego store in West Empton Mall looks very similar. It will be set adjacent to what is one of West Empton Mall's most impressive visual attractions, the Deep Sea Adventure Lake, complete with Santa Maria. And just like the Lego offering at Mall of America, it will be surrounded by foot traffic on all sides. I think it's fair to say that the identity crisis that area has seen is going to be over for a very long time. What I'm really curious to see is how the LEGO store location will be received by other tenants in that area of the mall, with one sticking out in particular. I hear time and again that Simon's, the clothing outlet right next to the escalators leading up to Silver S Scotiabank Theatre, well, they were responsible for some of the changes to the mall space in that area. I don't have official word about this, but it's pretty much an open secret. The theatre formerly featured a long decorative dragon's tongue. It still extends from the theater entrance to outside, but it used to also flow down the stairs from the theater, ending directly over the end of the Deep Sea Adventure Lake. In my opinion, it was a magnificent and beautiful feature, but the story goes, Simons didn't like it as much as most did, and had it removed as part of their agreement in bringing a location to the mall. So when you look at the Lego store at Mall of America, and put it into context of where the Lego store will exist in West Empton Mall, you can't help but notice it features some pretty impressive decor. A hanging helicopter, an oversized mech, and plenty more awe-inspiring statues made completely out of Lego. These pieces are fantastic, but they're also very prominent. They're at least as prominent as the two fighter jets, which used to welcome moviegoers from the mall as they made their way into Edmonton's premier cinema. But if you recall, they were also removed from that space. And although these lights actually look pretty darn slick, I do miss those planes. With all of this in mind, I can't help but to think, are we even going to get the chance to see impressive and oversized LEGO statues at West Edmonton Mall? I sure hope so. There is a lot of open space above where this store is going to exist. The LEGO location at Mall of America is very cool. And not doing something similar, or possibly even better, here at West Edmonton Mall would be a huge missed opportunity. The plans, which were left out in the open, give us a pretty good idea of what to expect when the store opens too. These pillars appear to refer to the tallest pillars in that space, on both sides of near what we'll call the rear of the store, closest to the Sunrise Records location, which would make these pillars the ones closest to the front of the store, and we can see by their rectangular shape that this is very likely. So now that we've got our bearings, 
we know that the actual footprint of the store is going to be very close to the area they have temporarily walled off, with the one exception being the wall closest to Europa Boulevard. Unlike the other three boundaries of the store, this wall will fall inside of the pillars, despite the temporary construction existing outside of that. We also know that the main entrance will be roughly here, facing the world's largest indoor lake. But unlike its cousin at Mall of America, it appears that this LEGO store will not have just a single entrance. By all indications, it looks like it's going to have a secondary rear entrance right beside Aurora, which really is just fantastic decision making. Bright colored blocks and oversized colorful sculptures right next to the exit of Aurora? Yeah, that's just good marketing. You're going to want to make it as easy as you can to funnel those customers in. Also, don't use this table. It belongs to Dave. Inside the LEGO store, the cashier and what is probably a display area will exist closest to the main entrance. LEGO seems to like long straight cashier counters, so I would wager that this is going to be the main payment area. And in the back corner, we can see that there's ample space for an employees only area, a large rear storeroom with lots of shelving, what appears to be a staff area, and an office or possibly a change room or something similar. Of course, all of this is still conjecture. We don't know for sure until it's done. So in the meantime, I guess we'll just wait and see. But now that the news is out, it's going to be a lot of fun watching the traditionally empty area of Phase 4 transform into a LEGO Megastore. And as you do, remember Woodward's. And the bay's second location. Remember the segways and the oversized colons. Remember the days before the mall's newest edition. The upcoming LEGO store of Phase 4. How excited are you for LEGO to finally arrive at West Hampton Mall? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel, give us a like and a share, and maybe even visit our Patreon page. And why not check out one of our other videos, all about the greatest indoor show on Earth, West Edmonton Mall. Oh, and thanks for watching.